Is this the way you work in the rice field? Next time I won't use my foot. Now, go to work. Don't cry, Michi. You, don't you teach your child the wisdom of obedience? Michi is not my child. He's an orphan. So, then proper discipline can be arranged. If the Japanese soldier will permit, I will show him how the new order disciplines its youth. Go on. Michi, what is the plan of our Japanese masters? The plan of our kind Japanese master is for a greater cooperative East Asia. Ah, good. The water is here. Go get your drink. All of you. Don't take too long. enough to be used now. Hey, 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 don't crowd, don't crowd. One at a time. Ducks, all right. How about the goats? See you later. Vegetables? I don't need them. Fruits? All right. How about the champagne? Yeah. See. Skinny. Five. No ten. Five. Take them in. How about the goats? I take them all, a dollar apiece. How many do you have got? Six? Four dollars. Right. Our champagne. Eh. Imitation. Give you a dollar a bottle. No argument? Or I'll tell you where you stole it. Wait. Come on, go on. Take them all around to the kitchen. We do business. My price. Hi, Hitler. Hello, man. You see, nothing is too good for General Kaimura. Only a few hours before General Kaimura's arrival. Has everything been arranged? Well, I promise you, he will find everything in order. How about the general's quarters? Oh, like Hitler's Burkhoff and Berkshire's garden. Oh, the Emperor's palace in Japan, much better. And the ducks. Oh, you should see the ducks. I raised them all from tiny little chicks. And I fed them better food than I eat myself. And the fruits. Everything from my own garden. How about champagne? Yes, yes, we have champagne. Uh, uh, imported from France. France? Vichy France, of course. Drop something? What? Why are you not practicing with your voice? I want you to sing the best when the general comes. What do you think I am, Madam Butterfly? Never mind. What song will you sing? Lullaby to a dying duck. Oh, that sounds... What?
was a Japanese plane which came down. Lady. Your friend. We're all your friends. Where'd they take my pal over there? It's all right. We have a hideout where you get medical attention. Say, haven't I seen you someplace before? Never mind that. Look. Wait a minute. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going to take a couple of those babies with me. Drop that gun. Take him away. Look for the other flyer. You use excellent judgment. It is my duty to the new order. Cleverness does not seem to be your only virtue. This is not a coolie hand. 
The lieutenant is right. I am not a coolie. Now, if you were only of noble birth. You see, my dear, General Kaimura likes the companionship of intelligent women, especially cultured women. Have you been here long? Not long. And a little scrubbing around the neck and uh, ears. And even a general might see possibilities. Bring the prisoner. Heil Hitler. Banzai. Much better. Where'd you get this cap? The plan of our kind Japanese master is for greater cooperative East Asia. Never mind that. Where did you get this cap? The plan of all kinds Japanese men. Oh, never mind the double talk. You better go home. You want to get shot? Well, Times Square. Oh, pardon me. Detour. Huh? Rodney Carr, correct? Correct. 102 South Main Street, Paducah, Kentucky. Social Security number... Which you wouldn't understand about Social Security, General. While working in an American munitions factory, my number was 563-185184. Well, as a matter of fact, General, we all have your number. Mr. Carr likes jokes. Oh, yeah. You ever hear the one about a hero heater? That will do. You're in no position to be insolent. Yeah, you're right. You didn't get your butcher's degree for nothing. No fear of death, Mr. Carr? Death? Well, General, since I joined up with the Flying Tigers, I've always been on the winning side. Not quite. Oh, yeah, you're right. This was a slip-up. Only bagged three fighters this time. Mr. Carr, do you know why you are here? You mean instead of pushing up daisies? Yeah, sure. For two reasons. One, to satisfy your own meat-grinding ambitions. Second, to find out the who, what, when, where, how of my boss's operational plans and ammunition dumps. Precisely. Take it from me, General. It's not for publication. Shall we use some persuasive methods? Oh, Mr. Carr. Should you not like to fly for us? The pay is better. Well, thanks a lot, General, but... I've always tried to lead a clean life. We should really have to devise some special method of persuasion for him. So, you lost one of the Americans. Well, he can't go far, Excellency. You become lax, Lieutenant. Perhaps you do not like a position on my staff. Oh, but I do, Excellency. Then are you going to take care of this matter, or must I manage every little detail? At once. Uh, do you like your quarters, General? They will do. What about my dinner? Uh, roast duck. 
and the finest champagne. And what about my, my companion? Well, there's a Mongolian girl. No good. She's empty. No culture. But perhaps she will do temporarily. I can always depend upon you, Lieutenant, to fail me. No, I will attend to it at once, General. I, I think I have a surprise for you. Then why the delay? Don't feel badly about the cap. Since you told nothing, no harm can come of it. Now, no more tears. Tears are only for joy, Luci. Come. Put him to bed. Oh, there you are. Did you wish something? I just wanted to return this to the kid. Why did you take it? I just wanted to. I was curious where he got it. He found it in the rice fields. He got it from the flyer who was killed. Oh, he was killed, huh? Well, I thought maybe he was still alive and the Japs had questioned the child. And you didn't want them to learn anything. I've seen them torture these kids before. What's the idea? Oh, Chen simply wants to make sure you won't say anything about the flyer's cap. You're gorillas, all of you. My Kimura would cut every throat in this room. Including yours. Oh, not mine. I have to sing. All throats look alike to the Japs. Or perhaps you are their ally. I'm nobody's ally. Are your sympathies with us? You heard me. I travel alone. And right now, I want to travel out of here. Of course. And thank you so much for protecting the boy. She will tell the Japs. She can be trusted. How do you know? A woman's intuition. Luchi, you go to bed. Now listen carefully, all of you. Kaimur, the butcher, is here for some important purpose. Wherever he goes, Japanese armies soon appear. Miss no opportunity to destroy an enemy. But be more cautious than ever until we learn the general's plans. That is all. How can we learn his plan? There is a way. Whatever happens, promise me, Chen. You'll understand. I promise. Keep watch. Japs, what's cooking? You were wounded. Oh. oh, I get it. Those dirty little nips plug me. They didn't kill me. Oh, my nerves. What a break. I've always wanted a nurse. Nothing ever happened to me. Not even a busted leg. I'm sorry, this is the best we can do under the circumstances. Best? Lady, this is perfect. Gee, I wish the boys back in Brooklyn could see me now. Brooklyn? Yeah. You know, home of the Dodgers. Dodgers? What are they? What do they do? Do? They play baseball. President Roosevelt's four freedoms. Gee, I can see it now. It's in the ninth inning scene, the score's all tied up. Kimberly's up at bat. The man on second base. The guy in the mound's a big port side. He winds up, he throws the ball in there. Kimberly comes one right out of the park. Ah, it's a foul ball. So the guy winds up. He throws it in there. The umpire calls it a strike. 
The Belio rushes out of the dugout and he starts a beef for the umpire. The umpire throws him out of the park, see? Oh, then he get everything quiet. Camille's up there. The guy tosses the ball on. Camille reaches back and he... Oh! Don't get excited. China can't afford to lose you. Oh, where are my buddies? Where's Rod and Johnny? What happened to them? They're all right. Don't you worry. Okay, if you say so, Lotus Blossom. Lotus Blossom? That's a very pretty name. Yeah. Yeah, I had a girl in Brooklyn I called Lotus Blossom. <laughs> her real name was Mavona Nohulahan. Me, I called her Lotus Blossom on account of she liked chop silly. <laughs> Gee, that was a long time ago. That was before me and Rod joined up with the Flying Tigers. Chen, it's all right to move him to the cave tonight. That's not. Hey, soldier. Hello? Here. Merry Christmas. Well, if it isn't Times Square. Your Jap pal sent you here to soften me up? If they did. I know. I'm wasting my time. What's your racket? How come you got the key to the city? I'm an entertainer. I sing. So do I. Look where I am. <laughs> Maybe you don't sing good enough. I can't make you out. Don't try. This is just Times Square, remember? Just bumped into each other in the crowd. Thousands do it every day. And you know New York. No, never been in the States. What? Never been to the States? Never been in the States. New York, Brooklyn Bridge, Empire State Building, Coney Island. You ever been to Moscow, Siberia, Calcutta? No. I have. All over Europe, Asia, even Japan. You ever been there? No. If I ever get out of here alive, I've got a date to bring a few eggs to Hirohito. If you ever get out. You couldn't fix it, could you? Not so you could notice it. How come you talk like a Yank? Learned it out of a sailor's manual. <laughs> Look, kid. Let's cut out this chatter. You stack up all right to me. What's the gag? No gag. You know, something about you reminds me of... Uh-oh, here it comes. Reminds me of home. You know, any place in the States. Wisconsin farm, a ranch in Montana, Orange Grove in California. Yeah, even Times Square. Anywhere but here. You don't belong here. Are you proposing? You got me wrong, lady. That's what I thought. Hey, before you go, can you tell me if you know what happened to a buddy of mine? No, but if he's anything like you, he can take care of himself. Don't do that. Your fighting plane did a marvelous job today, Herr General. Bring my dinner. Of course, of course. Doc, Doc. I raised him from tiny little... I know. Of 
American, my father Russian. Officially, that is no good. Unofficially, I will drink with you. Champagne. I've had champagne in months. There is much more in my office. Uh, perhaps later we will go up there and drink all you want. I'm kind of thirsty. Uh, perhaps you are an aristocrat. <laughs> Oh. You make fun of General Kamura? Oh, no, General. I'm laughing at myself. Aristocrat. Perhaps that is the American in you. So, you are not an aristocrat. Well, come to think of it, they did. Used to call my old lady Duchess. Duchess. Yes. Uh, bring another plate for the lady. what I told you in the rice field. Yes. Then listen closely, Meta. General Kaimura is a very fastidious man. He prefers the company of cultured women, ladies of high estate. Do you think you can assume such a role? I am Madame Huang Tai, from the great house of Huang. My father's wealth was confiscated. Not confiscated. Lost. Lost. Good. You are an apt pupil, Meta. General Kaimura would never know that you are not a lady of high estate, except for, for these. We must get rid of them. I own nothing else. Well, then follow me to the hotel. That can easily be arranged. But do not walk too close. It would not do for me to be seen walking with a coolie woman. And uh, one thing more, madame. There must be no slip up on your part. Or else. What are you doing here? Get out. General, I have the surprise. Surprise? Who asked for a surprise? Don't you remember? The surprise. Go away. Madam Wang Tai, from the aristocratic honorable house of Wang. Madam honors me. Say, General, what about our little champagne deal, remember? I said, go away. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Pardon me, 
me, General, but your lady friend is an old friend of mine. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Oh, no, I'm not. I'd know you anywhere. Do you know this person? No. Oh, yeah? Why don't you tell the General about the bonnet? Suppose you tell him. Oh, I I've said enough. Just seeing her here hit me the wrong way. What is this bonnet? Please, General, the answer is a simple one. She probably saw me dressed as a coolie with muddy sandals and a large straw hat. Coolie? But what she did not know was that I come from the great house of Wang, that my parents were killed and I was reduced to starvation. That was before I realized what the new order meant. So, perhaps you do not care for the new order. Perhaps you would like a prison camp better. Please, General, it's not her fault all this happened. What do you mean? The poor girl is jealous. Jealous? And it's really your fault. You have an irresistible fascination for women. I know how she feels finding me here. Every war has produced its great commanders like General Chimera. I've admired you from afar. And I'm happy at last to stand within the shadow of the next premier of the Japanese Empire. What a line. Control your emotions and get out. Stay there. Lieutenant, or should I say Captain, tell that Heil Hitler downstairs to prepare a room for Madame Wang Tai. Yes, Excellency. Shigumato Kaimura, Premier of Japan. No, of the whole world. Where have I seen you before, madam? Your face reminds me there is something. Yes, I know what it is. It's the Great Wall of China. Why do you remind me of the Great Wall of China? Perhaps the general thinks I'm as aged looking as the Great Wall. There is a fragile but durable beauty in you, madam. The Great Wall. Yes. I see it each time I, I look at you. Durable. Lasting. As though you, like the Great Wall, have lived for centuries. And will live on for centuries more. But it will not be so. The Great Wall shall crumble into dust. And from the dust will arise a new China. General! I will hold Asia and half the world in my hand like a bunch of grapes to be ripened by the sun of heaven. And you, madam, your destiny will be linked with mine. Will it be soon? Soon, my little flower. You have much fighting to do. We cannot hurry destiny. When my soldiers arrive, we shall move on. When will they arrive? What is it? General, I have important news. Well? A coolie has talked with a little persuasion. Well? The overseer has been found. Why do you bother me with small things? Go away. But General Kaimura, the overseer was found in a ditch at the rice field, dead. What did you say? Murdered by the coolies. Oh, so? Get every coolie who worked in that rice field. But what are you staring at? Nothing. I... the overseer's body is in the courtyard. Well, must I inspect the body now, Lieutenant? Or do you suppose it may keep until the morning? Tomorrow, when I have finished in this village, there will be many more bodies. Now go. Madam, forgive me. These interruptions and... And I am a little weary. Oh, how thoughtless of me. Of course you must be tired. I'll go. I shall look forward to tomorrow and a great many more days. But your troops will arrive soon, and you'll be leaving for the front. And I'll be all alone. Don't worry about that, my little flower. 
It will not be tomorrow or the next day. How soon? Do not fret about that. Oh. Herr General, I have come to show Madame to her room. Madame, good night. Good night, General. Good night. Why did you come here? Because it's part of my plans. But the danger. Money's always taken care of that in the past. Of course. But you right here in my hotel, under the general's nose, that's suicide. You will be detected. You're not worried about me. You're worried about yourself. I'll... After all, I have my responsibilities. I cannot take chances. Our bargain was plainly understood from the first. Only one thing concerns you. You furnish the guns and ammunitions. We furnish the money. American money. Of course. And I... Didn't I stick to my side of the bargain? Not as much as I expected. But it'll have to do. Madam, you must leave at once. I'll try to get more munitions for you. But you must leave my hotel at once. I don't think the General will hear of it. Nor your interference. Please, madam, I beg of you, careful, careful. For your sake, Herr Gruber, I will take every precaution so you will live a long life. You were in the rice field when the overseer was murdered and the flyer escaped. Tell me, who killed the overseer and where is the flyer hiding? That would give you a captain's rating. I'm sorry I can't help you. You forget, madam. I took you out of the rice field and I can send you back to the rice field or have you shot. Shoot Madam Huang Tai? One word to the general, madam. Would you disillusion the general? Of mercy. Give me strength. Then on. Bring him in. Good morning, General. Good morning, madam. Lieutenant. Madam. What's all the excitement? One of my more disagreeable duties, a few executions. Oh, yes, for the death of the overseer. It is not a pleasant sight. Perhaps, madam, you had better wait in the hotel for me. 
is my left hand not to know what my right hand is doing? You, General, are now my right hand. And I must know and understand both hands. Madam, you are superb. In that case, stay and observe. If you will forgive me, madam. Remove this. Good morning, Captain. I have removed the obstacle from your view. I trust you will see better. Uh, Lieutenant, give the American captain a cigarette. Cigarette. Father is old and understands nothing. Question that young agitator first. Uh, bring a glass, Paul. Not for me, thank you. Lieutenant, you may proceed. You have your choice. Talk or die. I know nothing. Talk. I do not know. Who killed the overseer? I do not know. Did you kill him? No. Lieutenant, you waste time. Dispose of him. I don't want to seem presumptuous. But don't you think youth should be taught to serve the new order instead of wasted? Firing squad, fall in. Your armies need rice. Otherwise, Japan's destiny and yours will be starved. Ready? General, can you afford to put your soldiers into the rice fields? Lieutenant. Release the young coolie. Release all the young coolies. Except that tall one. Tall men are stupid. Shoot him. Not too stupid to plant rice. Oh, so? Perhaps you're right. Release him, too. Shoot all the old men. Let the young ones see that for their crimes, their fathers will pay. Not him. Here's old man. Answer. He cannot hear. He cannot speak. Shoot me. Ready? Two at a time. It saves our finish. Aim! Fire! I trust you enjoy the performance, Captain. As for myself, 
I find such incidents stimulating to the appetite. What should you like for breakfast? Remember Pearl Harbor, General. Wait till I turn my back. For you, madam. I have waited long for such this. How lovely. It takes my breath away. And you, madam, take my breath and my heart away. If I can do that, our destiny will be truly linked. Time is growing short. Every minute counts. Soon I will be away. Are you leaving for the front? Yes. Soon I will be in Chongqing. Then, the conquest of all China. The troops, are they coming from the south? Many thousand of them. And within 24 hours. But let's not talk about that now. Oh, you're trembling. Are you frightened? Just at the thought of your leaving. You will not be for long. Oh, your drink. You have so many problems of war to face that you must dismiss everything from your mind now. Everything but you. If only every Chinese were like you, madam. Chongqing could well take a lesson from you. Well, here's hoping that every Chinese you meet from tonight on will be as loyal as I am. I say the time has come to strike. There is no longer room for patience. There is no longer room for Madame Quan Mei. She has betrayed us. She will be here to answer you. Will she bring her General Chimera with her? Your sorrow has made you blind. She called this meeting. She will be here and we will wait. Twenty four hours. hoping I'd find you. What are you going to do, try to pin wings on me again? Please don't go. We need your help. I want you to help the American flyer escape. What for? Why should I risk my life for somebody that's just dropped in? He means something to me. Nothing means anything to him but his kites. Try and get the key from Herr Grieve. He must have a duplicate one to the wine room. Look, I might have had a tough life, but I'm still going to hang on to it. Your life and my life mean nothing. It's the future generation that counts now. 
This is the only generation I'm interested in. I know you will do it. And thanks. Is that you, Times Square? Oh, I... Oh, I thought you were somebody else. I am Madame Quan May. Did you say Madame Quan May? Be careful. Yeah, but I know you just said... Hey, you're the one I met in the rice fields. Yes, Captain. And here you've been Madame Quan May all alone. But sap I was not to recognize you. But... What to stop you from shooting those jabs? For two good reasons. First, they would have killed you. Second, once you arrive, you're working with our guerrilla plan. General Kaimura's troop train is arriving within 24 hours. The general is planning a western offensive immediately. But the troop train must not reach him. We've prepared long and patiently to destroy the general's army and recapture our village. We cannot fail if we had help from the air. That's where I come in. I beat it in my base and bring back the gang. Exactly. It's a deep... But how do I get out of here? That has been arranged. Good night, Captain. And good luck. We are fools to wait. She will not come. Let us strike tonight while they are asleep. How soon you forget what Madame has done for you? Forget? Forget? I will never forget. She stood there smiling as they shot down my father. She is a traitor! Mucho! Let me go! Mucho! Let me go! If you don't pipe down, you're gonna betray all of us. And besides, my pal here can't concentrate. Then I go alone. If you are not coward, you will follow me. Or shall we trade our guns for fine clothes? These are fine clothes. Do you think I wear them from choice? Mo Chao, I'm sorry about your father. Lotus Blossom. Well, how are you? Right in the pink. Why, you look as good as new. And quote, soon you'll be using a machine gun again. I have important information for you. Well, I see doubt in all your faces. I see the thought in your eyes that I'm a traitor. Somehow I cannot blame you. I saw Mu Chao's father die, murdered, and I saw the fathers of two more comrades shot. If I did not show the pain in my face, it was in my heart. True, I live at the hotel, I wear lovely clothes. But there is a reason. It was the only way to find out the plan of that butcher. Jap soldiers coming. So, you brought the Japs with you. Are you crazy?
General Kaimura's troop train arrives in 24 hours. Choose your objectives and rehearse your men. The bridge must be blown up and the track. The rest according to our plans, which now includes the escape of our two American flyers tonight. They will bring back air support for our attack. Did Brad say we could do it? We'll do it. I'll need you, Chen, and you, Mo Chow. And the rest of you see that our friend here... Patrick's name. Pat is at the end of the street by the well. No move must be made until we hear the air attack. In case we don't meet again, good luck and goodbye. Goodbye, Lotus Blossom. Come, Mo Chow. Chen. What a woman. Just wanted to talk to you, Hansie. To me? What for? Oh, don't worry. It's not about moonlight and roses. I've got a big order for you. An order? Munitions for the Chinese guerrillas. What do you mean by that? That's what I say. I do not know what you're talking about. You're fired! Dismissed! Look here, mister. There's no time to lose. Either you do what I say, or I talk to the general and tell him everything I know about you. And brother, what I know about you would line you up against that wall in the courtyard. Go! Get out! Okay. I think I'll talk to the general first. Wait. What do you want me to do? I have a date with the American flyer tonight. I want you to take me to him now. I won't do it. Get the keys. Lovely night for romance, isn't it, Herr Gruber? Don't ask me. I'm out of my head. You won't get away with it. I'm going to tell the general. You can't blackmail me, Freiland. You dirty no good. <laughs> it's a long time, Square. I won't forget this. been dreaming. What? What happened? I, I heard shots. Come in. Your Excellency, the American flyer has escaped. Escaped? How? I do not know. Well, go and find him and bring him back. Fools, there's nothing you can do this right. Go on. The Americans will pay for this with more than one flyer. Oh, Forgive me. I fell asleep. 
Oh, you must have been very tired. But I waited here for you. Madam, you are... You are more ravishing than ever. This day it had to happen just when we were ready to launch our attack in the West. Did you find out how he escaped? The German, Hans Gruber. Soldiers found him in the wine room. So, the German. Dispose of him. And one thing more, General. Last night, soldiers on the outskirts of town discovered a woman. Oh, thank you, Lieutenant. That's my brooch. I worried all night about it. You see, it's a gift from the General, and I wouldn't lose it for anything. Why do you bother me with small things? Go now. In just a few minutes, my troop train will arrive, and I shall be gone. What's that? Maybe gorillas. Gorillas? Well, I can take care of that. I'll wipe out this village, every man, woman, and child. Japanese planes. No, flying tigers. Let them come. They'll fall from the skies like dead flies. That was your troop train. With thousands of soldiers blown to bits. My future premier of the Japanese Empire. And how do you know all this? I am Madame Juan May. We are ready, General. My faithful lieutenant. Sometimes I wonder what I would do without you. China. Not even a million deaths could crush the soul of China. For the soul of China is eternal. When I die, a million will take my place, and nothing can stop them. Neither hunger, nor torture, nor the firing squad. We shall live on until the enemy is driven back over scorched land and hurled into the sea. 
But that time will come soon. For the armies of decency and liberty are on the march. For China's destiny is victory. It will live because human freedom will not perish. Out of the ashes of ruin and old hatreds, the force of peace will prevail until the world is again sane and good.